call. Why? It's my turn. The following is a live presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. It's not very often when Ron Guidry gets beat in 1978, but that's what the Baltimore Orioles did on a Wednesday night at Memorial Stadium. In the third, Doug DeSensei doubled home a run to give the Orioles a 1-0 lead. Then Lee May singled home to Sensei to make it 2-0 Baltimore. In the sixth, the Orioles put it away. Carlos Lopez singled home Rick Dempsey 3-0. In the seventh, Cliff Johnson doubled home 2 off of Mike Flanagan to make it 3-2. to two. The Yankees had their chances in the 8th. They had two hits in a walk and failed to score. The Orioles beat Guidry 3-2. Three, three runs, six hits, no errors for Baltimore. The Yankees, two runs, eight hits, and no errors. The Orioles go into first place in maybe the biggest ball game of the year. Come on. Fine, be that way. As Retro Sports Network presents Major League Baseball Replay 1978. Tonight, from Memorial Stadium in Baltimore, it's the first place Baltimore Orioles and the second place New York Yankees. Dick Tidrow versus Scotty McGregor. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Speaker, Speaker, or your Speaker, Spotify, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. It's actually helpful to hit the right button. And so here we go. This is the biggest game so far of the baseball season. It is August 31st. September starts tomorrow. We only have 32 days left to go in the year. And this is the last time the Yankees and the Orioles are scheduled to play in 1978. And what's more, these two teams are tied at seven apiece in 1978. So whoever wins this will be the host of any potential one-game playoff between the two teams. It don't get much bigger than that. My name is Ron Juckett. We welcome you to the show. The Orioles will go with Scott McGregor. He's looking for his 14th win. The Yankees are going to go with Dick Tidrow on a warm and breezy night here in Baltimore. And the stakes really don't get much higher than this. As I said, whoever wins this game would host a potential playoff a month from now. That's a big deal. You want that home field advantage. The Orioles are 76 and 55. The Yankees have one game in hand. They are 75 and 55. This is game 131 for the Yankees. This is game 132 for Baltimore. 30 games left in the season. And so shall we? Let's do it. And so Scott McGregor, 13 and 11 with a 372 ERA, making start number 27. He's got five left to go on the year against the Yankees. This is his fourth start. He has thrown 21 innings, 30 hits, 11 runs, all earned. He has walked five and struck out 12. He is 2-1 against the Bombers with a 4-7-1 ERA, and the Yankees hit him hard. An average of 353. Only three teams have a 300 average against McGregor in 78. California and Toronto, only a one start. The others. His last start was the 27th, four nights ago. Against Seattle, nine innings in a win, eight hits, Four runs, all earned. He didn't walk anybody and struck out two. So overall, 201 innings, 205 hits, 19 home runs allowed, 87 runs in total, 83 earned runs, 40 walks and 90 strikeouts. He's a fastball pitcher, 85, and a flyball pitcher. And as Lorenzo two times his Dodgers, let's tell you the Yankee lineup. Mickey Rivers will lead off in center field. 
Willie Randolph will bat second and play second. They lose Randolph for the year coming up. The Yankees' margin of error is almost none, especially with Milwaukee breathing down everyone's necks, too. Thurman Munson behind the plate will hit third. Reggie Jackson cleans up in right, and so where he should be. Lou Pinella in left will bat fifth. Craig Nettles at third will bat sixth. Chris Chambliss at first will bat seventh. McGregor the lefty. There are four lefties in the lineup for the Yankees. Cliff Johnson, the DH, will hit eighth. And Bucky Dent at short will bat ninth with Dick Tindrell on the mound. Pat Kelly is in left field for Baltimore as we set their defense for you. A five and a three. Larry Harlow is six and a five in center. And Kenny Singleton is six and a seven in right. Around the infield, Doug DeSensei is seven. Kiko Garcia is at short. He's a four, not Belanger. So, Mickey, uh, Earl Weaver going for the bat in this one. And not necessarily the glove. Billy Smith is six at second and still slashing his way through the National Hockey League. Eddie Murray is six at first. Rick Dempsey a five and a seven behind the plate. McGregor is ready. Rivers at 304. Five homers and 31 RBI. They play for the bunt. The Sensei and Murray coming in. McGregor starts this game with a ground ball to short, a second rather. Smith over to Murray, one out. So that's how it starts. So now I'll bring up Randolph. Randolph does have another 104 at bats left to go, so he will go deep. But if this does turn out to be a three team race in September, like we expect it to be, the margin of error will be none. Randolph at 289, two homers and 33 RBI. McGregor deals, and there's a line drive base hit center field. So that's the first hit. McGregor, a contact pitcher, in 233 real innings, he only struck out 94. Here's Munson at 283, five homers and 64 RBI. How you doing, Mr. Red Sox fan? Pitch to Thurman. There's a slow roller to Garcia. Throws it over to Murray, and Thurman is retired. So Randolph moves to second, and two out. For Reggie Jackson, at 300, 20 homers, and 72 RBI. Pitch to Reggie. Hit him! He grins as he takes one on the leg. He tried to, ha ha, get out of the leg. But he was hit. And he's rubbing it. And McGregor slams the ball back in his glove. Yeah, he was hit. Here's Pinella at 291, two homers and 52 RBI. McGregor deals. He bunts one. It's a check swing. Dempsey throws to first, and Pinella beat it out. Oh, a new lifeguard job. Congratulations. So that was kind of a check it swing by Pinella. Skewed off the end of the bat. Dempsey trying to get the third out. Couldn't get it. And the Yankees have him loaded for nettles. At 314, 23 homers and 88 RBI. McGregor deals. Ground ball right to Scotty, over to first, and the Yankees will leave him loaded. No runs, two hits, and no errors. Half an inning in the books, the Yankees, nothing. Here come the Orioles. And so this will bring up Dick Tidrow. He's only got three more starts to go. He is 8-9 and nine with an ERA of 4.55. And if you're looking at that quality start number in 21 previous starts, he only has 11 for a 52.4%. That's what the Yankees are going to have to do in September. They need to ride Gidry and Figueroa and figure out someone else who can be a third. Against the Orioles, he had one short start, two and two-thirds innings, five hits. Two runs, both earned, and a strikeout in a loss. 
his last start, he was absolutely Christmas treed against the Oakland A's on the 26th. Three and two thirds innings, 10 hits, 10 runs, nine earned. He walked two and struck out four. That was the night after Ron Guidry's no hitter. So in 142 and a third innings, he's allowed 149 hits, 14 homers, 78 runs, 72 earned. He has walked 40 and struck out 70. He's a fly ball pitcher, and the fastball tops out at 85. 63 Dodgers are about to play the 63 Cubs in Lorenzo's table. So here's a lineup for Baltimore. Larry Harlow will lead off in center field. Pat Kelly in left will bat second. Sandy Singleton in right will go third. Eddie Murray cleans up at first. Doug DeCense at third will bat fifth. Lee May, the DH, will go sixth. Rick Dempsey behind the plate bats seventh. Billy Smith in second bats eighth. And Kiko Garcia at short will go ninth. McGregor threw 21 pitches in the first. Defensively for New York. Pinella a six and a two and left. Mickey Rivers an eight and a five in center. Reggie Jackson, the best of the three, a six and an eight and right. Craig Nettles a ten at third. Bucky Dent a six at short. Willie Randolph a seven at second. Chris Chambliss a ten at first. Thurman Munson a nine and an eight behind the plate. And Tendro is an average fielder. He's a five with a 1,000 fielding percentage. Harrow steps in at 254. Nine homers and 45 RBI. And we will tell you this place is sold out on a Thursday night in Baltimore. Pitch to Harlow is a ground ball to Chambliss. Chris takes it to the bag himself. One out. Brings up Pat Kelly at 321. Eight homers and 27 RBI. And there's a line drive base hit center field. So Kelly is on with a single. Curveball was hung and Kelly ripped it. And that will bring up Singleton who's had a whale of a year. 274, 22 homers and 56 RBI. Pitch, I'll throw to first, Kelly back. Weaver will play as conservative as he can. Knows he got out of a big jam in the first where the Yankees had the bases loaded. And there's a fly ball to right. Jackson in the gap will make the catch, and Kelly goes back. Two out for Murray at 293, 22 homers, and 91 RBI. Tendro, if they can get six out of him with a lead, you take it. The Orioles are going to try to milk McGregor for everything he's got. Murray into right. Back goes Reggie. Goodbye, home run. So Eddie Murray makes it 2 nothing Baltimore on that shot to right field. And for Eddie, that's number 23 on the year. There it is again. Tedro just left too much of the plate, and Murray is too good of a hitter to make that kind of mistake, too. So, 2 nothing Baltimore, 2 out for DeCense at 240, 21 homers, and 70 RBI. Pitch. Fly ball, left center field, back goes Rivers, that's off the wall. DeCense goes into second standing, and the Orioles have found their groove early. And that will bring up Lee May at 241, 24 homers, and 81 RBI. Pitch from Tidrow, struck him out. He got him on a 2-2 fastball, and at the knees looking, and that will retire the side, but Eddie Murray makes the home folks happy. His two-run homer, three hits and no errors. And after one, it's 2 nothing Baltimore. So here comes Chambliss. Johnson and Dent to face McGregor. Ah, uh, yeah, Murray's had a whale of a rookie year. Chambliss at 270. 
10 homers and 82 RBI. And Chris hits it right back up the box. McGregor throws to first for the out. One away. Brings up Johnson. Cliff, as bad of as good of a DH as I would be, at 175, three homers and 18 RBI. And he swings and pops it up. Garcia goes to the bag at second and gets the Rainmaker two out. Brings up Bucky at 220, three homers and 23 RBI. From the line, Dent into right field. Singleton moves over and makes the catch. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the second in Baltimore. The Orioles to the Yankees, nothing. So here's Tit up uh, Tidrow. Here's Dempsey. Read the right part of the screen, Chuck it. 206, six homers and 38 RBI. Now remember. Oh, I'm sorry. Is she okay? Your father in law okay? I mean, we're glad to have you watching wherever, but the ER, unless it's a Tim Hortons or something like that, it's not where, where I'd ever want to be. He gave you Dempsey's numbers. Pitch from Tidrow. Rick smashes out one to second and ran off a line out, or catch the line out, one away. Here's Smith, Billy at 263, four homers and 19 RBI. Ball four. So high and outside on a full count. And now bring up Garcia. Kiko at 282. Four triples and 15 RBI. Throw to first. Smith back. Pitch to Kiko. Struck him out. He got him to swing and miss at an 0-2 fastball at 86, and there's two out. That's a big out from Tidrow, and that will bring up Larry Harlow. So through nine batters, Tidrow has thrown 38 pitches over an inning and two-thirds. He's allowed three hits, including the two-run homer by Eddie Murray. He has walked one and struck out two. Harlow is 0-for-1, Smith on first. And Larry chops out one to third. Nettles goes to Randolph for the easy out. And that will be the side. No runs, no hits. The Orioles strand a runner. We go to the third. Two, nothing, Baltimore. Well, hopefully, my friend, I didn't get a CAT scan on her to see if everything's okay upstairs. Hopefully, you're not waiting all that long either. And I hate to be insensitive here, but we're going to show some standings. So in the National League, the Dodgers have now lost four straight. The Reds have cut it to two and a half. I got to tell you, coming up, Labor Day weekend is maybe the worst weekend of baseball games I have ever seen. My guess is you're going to see a bunch of the Texas Rangers this week, and or coming up next week. And the East, Philadelphia's lead over Pittsburgh has shrunk to two. As the Phillies have lost two straight, San Diego trying to find some signs of life here as they're only five and a half behind the Dodgers. In the American League West, Texas by half a game over Kansas City, and Minnesota has won five straight. They are only three back, and the Angels have kind of given up the ghost. A 70's not old, man. In the American League East, here's the standings. Baltimore and the Yankees have both won 7-10. But the Orioles, with their win last night, go to 76-55. Milwaukee is only one back, but they've lost three straight. And if you're looking at records in the division here, Baltimore 39-26, the Yankees 33-28, and, and the Brewers, that might be close to done in the division, are 44-38. So Rivers will lead off the third. Mickey's 0 for 1. 
McGregor, 36 pitches, 9 batters, 2 innings, 2 hits, and that's it. Yep, Clinton, I don't believe any team with a winning record is playing outside of Texas. It's playing another team with a winning record. Pitch to Rivers. Mickey in the right or right side. Murray will run out of real estate, and someone from Laurel will make that catch. So the count is full. McGregor looking for win number 14 and to give the Orioles a game and a half lead over the Yankees. Bayline drive. Harlow's there. One out. So the winner of this one will win the season series. They are knotted at seven. And if we do go to a one-game playoff, the winner of this game would host it. Randolph singled his first time up. Wow, did not know that. Michael Red Sox fan says, Eddie Murray, camera focuses on Murray in first, played in less than 150 games just twice in his first 17 years. Only once did he play less than 100. In all his time in Baltimore, his OPS never dipped below 800. That's 12 years. That's incredible. Pitch to Randolph. Struck him out. He got him looking on an 0-2 fastball. First strikeout for McGregor. And here is Munson with two out. He's 0-1. for 1. The Ballpark here in Baltimore playing big. Shanikin, thanks for the host. Pitch from McGregor is a ground ball to Garcia over to first, and that should, if I remembered my P's and Q's, retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. How you doing, buddy? After two and a half, it's Baltimore two, the Yankees nothing. So Tedro to face Kelly, Singleton, and Eddie Murray. Kelly singled and scored on the Murray homer in the first. Tedro fires, ball four. So Kelly on with a 3 1 walk. Second walk for Tedro. Here's Singleton. He's 0 for 1. We expect Action PC Hockey to be released today. And that's why we didn't do an unboxing video last night. But if you want to see the latest and greatest in Dave Cook's hockey game, we expect 7 Eastern tonight, 4 Pacific. Pitch to Singleton. Slow roller to Tidrow. Randolph for one. Over to Chambliss. And Kenny is retired. So it is a pitcher's best friend. It goes one, four, three on the card. And with nobody on and two out, that'll bring up Murray. Eddie plowed his 23rd of the year. And now his 93 RBI. And if you're wondering about that OPS, eight. Six seven. And for a good time, I hope his wife's name wasn't Jenny. Here's the pitch to Murray. There's a fly ball center field and will stay in the yard and Rivers is there. And now we'll retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the fourth. Two nothing birdies. So Jackson. Pinella and Nettles for the Yankees here in the fourth. As we said, the ballpark here in Baltimore playing bigger tonight. Batting average for lefties, minus one. Batting average for righties, minus six. Home runs, minus 14 for the lefties and minus 20% for the righties. And the wind is blowing in from right center at five on this beautiful 80 degree night. The last day of August, 1978. Jackson was hit by a pitch the first time up. This time he'll strike out. McGregor got him to chase an 0-2 out of the zone. And there's one out. Brings up Pinella, who singled his first time up. Popped up. Dempsey takes off the mask on the dirt, two out. Dodgers are beating the Cubs in Lorenzo's 63 replay. Nettles is 0 for 1. 
So just so you know, there will not be a Dodger doubleheader next week. Here's a ground ball to Murray. Takes it to the bag himself for the out. And so no runs, no hits, and no errors. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's still 2-0 Baltimore. And again, it has more to do with the Mets than it does the Dodgers. You do, however, get two doubleheaders coming up. They're not the Dodgers, but you will get them. The Sensei doubled his first time up. He's one for one. Lorenzo digs into his pockets to try to bribe me. Won't work. You can demand all you want. Pitch to the Sensei. There's a fly ball left center field. Rivers is there. And that's the first out. Yep, you can keep bribing. It won't matter. Here's May. He struck out his first time up. Tidrow. As fan two. And there's a base hit in the left field. Pinella will pick it up. And that will be one out. We do, by the way, have golf coming up next week. Our version of the all time great PGA Championship starts next Thursday. I did not make slides for this yet, so don't. So there's no PowerPoint for you. Dempsey's 0 for 1. Pitch from Tidrow. There's a slow roller to Dent. Only play is to first, and Dempsey is retired. I do not understand why Dent didn't run to the bag. That should have been two. Anyway, two out. May on second. And now I'll bring up Billy Smith, who walked his first time up. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. Tidrow got him on the outside corner for strike three. So... No runs, a hit, the Orioles leave a man on. After four, it's still 2-0 Baltimore. So Chambliss, Johnson, and Dent. Chris is 0-1. for 1. Pitch to Chris. Slow roller to Smith. Um, what out? Let me see. When is our next baseball game? I don't have a schedule. Generally, we go Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at noon Eastern. Wednesday is supposed to be a primetime game. It was at noon this week. Uh, but generally, those four days a week are baseball streams. And we have about 32, 31 days left in the regular season. So 31 streams to go. If anybody has any information of a compromising nature on me, please whisper Lorenzo at susanderpantsoff.com. Or, I'm sorry, let me do it right. At tips at susanderpantsoff.com. Johnson's 0 for 1. Popped up left side to Sensei. One out here in the top of the fifth. Bucky's 0 for 1. Two nothing Orioles here on the two run homer by Murray. In the center field, Harlow is there. All right, so yeah, tomorrow at noon. Good luck with your thing, Mike. And that will retire the side. He's just leaving not to get the commercial. I know how this works. Halfway home, two nothing birds. I can tell you, Lorenzo, that CBS banner I have is twice the size of the ABC one. We just haven't moved stuff around to put it up yet. Well, the only offense really in this game came in the first from Baltimore. Eddie Murray is 23rd of the year, a two-run blast to give the Orioles a 2-0 lead. And Scotty McGregor has held. 
the Yankees to two hits through five. Dick Tidrow hasn't pitched poorly, but when your offenses don't go there, probably because I was closer to it. It's one of the things. The mic's off to the side. Um, and I just took a drink. So if Lorenzo had the headphones on, probably that. Plus, there's also been a Windows update, so God knows what else. Uh, Tidrow, four hits through four, and the two run homer to Murray. So I'll bring up Garcia, Harlow, and Kelly to follow. Kiko was 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. Yankees are playing for the bunt. And my mic appreciates the fact that you're hitting on it. How about a warning? No. Pitch to Garcia. Struck him out. He got him a swing on an 0-2 pitch. And so that's one out. So Tidrow threw 18 batters. 75 pitches. Four and a third innings. Your wife wants to hear me. I just moved away from it. That's all. So, yeah, when I started talking, I was over there. I'm just like your wife. All I'm ever going to tell you is no. <laughs> four to third innings, four hits. The two-run homer by Murray. Both the runs, two walks, and four strikeouts. And that brings up Harlow, who's <laughs> over two. Ah, yes. Mabel, Mabel, bring me the black label. So here we go. Tedrow's pitch, and there's a fly ball to right. Jackson is there in the right center for the out two away. Two runs, four hits, no errors for Baltimore. They've left three on. The Yankees, no runs, two hits, and no errors, and they've left three on. Yep. Lorenzo just crashed the car on that one. You can't ever leave me that open. Kelly is one for one. Pat has a walk, a single, and scored. <sighs> on the homer by Murray. Oh, Clinton. Clinton says he listens to evil people. And I'm such a shy, innocent young man. There's more falsehoods than that to uh, to unpack than Madonna in the 80s staying at a Super 8. Pitch to Kelly is a fly ball to right. Jackson is there. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. Through five. No runs, no hits, no errors. It's still Baltimore, too. The Yankees, nothing. So Scotty starts his trip through the third trip through the lineup. 27 batters, 72 pitches, five innings. Two hits and two strikeouts. Rivers is 0 for 2. He is, uh, McGregor has held the Yankees to two hits. And Mickey in the left field, Kelly will come in to make the catch one out. That brings up Randolph, who is singled and struck out. He's 1 for 2. If you joined us late, the way that we would handle any one game playoff. And there's a possibility of four one-game playoffs at least. Whoever wins the season series would host the playoff game. And so in the American League, since it's 15 games in the division, you, that, that's how you're going to settle it. In the National League, if there's a 9-9 tie, pitch to Randolph, is a ground ball to Garcia. Kiko's got to hurry. And Randolph is out by an eyelash. Ho, 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 it took a bad hop on the football field. Bob Lemon comes out to say a few words, and they quickly get him back in there. That was close, but he was out. So as I was saying, in the National League, because you have a 9-18 games, you can't have a 9-9 split. So if that is the case, then we would roll one die to determine who gets in. But what does this mean for the Yankees and the Orioles? Well, they're split 7-7, seven, seven, and this is game 15. So whoever wins this game would host a potential one-game playoff. So not only is this a big game on the last day of August, this would determine where game 163 would be. Munson's 0 for 2. McGregor deals. Ball 4. 
So the first walk for Scotty and Munson on first. Two out for Jackson. Reggie was hit by a pitch and struck out. Reggie liner to right. Singleton's there and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the six. Two nothing Baltimore. So Singleton Murray and the Sensei Clinton series question for you, buddy. Did you lose your power with the storm? There are people I know in New Hampshire who still don't have power. What, you get it back yet? We got the rain part of the storm as a book about five hours. Okay. We got the rain part of the storm. Parts of, around us did lose power. It blew hard for a couple hours here. But all of our lines are underground. But a friend of mine near Concord is still without power as of 6.30 this morning. Pitch to Singleton is a fly ball center field. Rivers is there for the out, one away. So here's Murray. As much as we complain about Central Maine power, they do get us back up quite quickly. That's nice. You know, someone's going to come in because not add anything that, that's terrible. And they're going to drop F Bomb City on me. And I got to have to allow it or else ban them because different words have different connotations. Here's Murray. He had a two run homer. He's one for two. Dodgers beat the Cubs 5 0. Who was on the hill for uh, the Dodgers? Pitch to Murray is a ground ball to Randolph over to first for the out. And I should clarify for the YouTube audience, that's the 63 Dodgers. Desensei one for two with a double. Pitch from Tidro. There's a fly ball to left. Pinella is there, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the seventh. It is still 2 nothing. Baltimore. Miller with Ron Paranoski mopping up in the top of the ninth. So it'll be Pinella who has the other hit for the Yankees. He's got a single. Nettles and Chambliss to face McGregor and his 84 pitches here in the seventh. So if Scotty continues to slam the door shut, he can rest the bullpen. Tedro, maybe another inning. Pinella, slow ground ball. Smith in front of the bag at second. Over to first, and Murray will stay there for the out. So here's Nettles, who's 0 for 2. Pitch to Craig is popped up right side. Murray running out of real estate, but it's a football field, and there's a lot of room. Two out. We've had some good pitching matchups this week. Here's Chambliss. He's 0 for 2. Pitch to Chris. Ground ball to Smith. Over to Murray. And that will retire the side. Stretch time. 2 nothing, Baltimore. And so don't forget to get your SK hot dogs here at Memorial Stadium. $10 gets you any game you want, Lorenzo. Mr. May and not Mr. Winfield is one for two with singled and struck out. But you got my email. If you want to do that, just, just email me, okay? Pitch to May is a fly ball to left. Pinella will make the catch one out. 
I got a bunch of Patreon things. Uh, no, you're not buying games in the replay. They'd be separate. The 78 replay is my daily offering to you. Here's Dempsey. He's 0 for 2. Because the only person who wants to watch the Dodgers is you. Pitch to Dempsey is a fly ball to right. Back goes Jackson. He'll make the catch on the track. And that'll do it for Tidrow. Really? Okay. Here comes the goose. Yeah, Mr. May, Big Stein was getting upset. <laughs> so Gossage, boy, he's got a lot of innings left, doesn't he? 43rd appearance of the year. And if there's something, I'm going to point out something kind of wonky here in the AI. Gossage has only been used three times in the entire month of August. There's no way you'd only use Gossage three times. Against Baltimore, this is his fifth appearance. He's three and a third innings, allowed one hit, and struck out four. He has a win and has saved two. So his last time out was August 18th. He's on two weeks rest. Wow. He pitched two innings against Seattle, a hit, a walk, and three strikeouts. So in 83rd, 83 and a third innings. He's allowed 55 hits, 7 homers, 22 runs, 21 earned. He has walked 29 and struck out 77 WABC batters. And so a 2.27 ERA picked up the save. He went against Baltimore on the 6th and picked up a win in an inning in two-thirds. So here is Billy Smith. Two out, bottom into seventh. And they need to hope that the Yankees can get something going here for Gossage to be doing something. Smith is 0 for 1. He has walked and struck out. Pitch popped up. Munson to the screen. Makes the catch against it to retire the side. So no runs on no hits and no errors. We go to the eighth. Baltimore to the Yankees, nothing. You know, the great thing about Action PC, Lorenzo, is you can buy the 78 season and play every Dodger game you want. Here's Johnson. Cliff is 0 for 2. McGregor at 91 pitches and needs six outs to get that potential playoff game in Baltimore. I believe that the ALCS will start in the Western Division winner, and then the last three games would be in the Eastern Division winner. Because if my memory serves me correctly, and Lorenzo will tell me, Ronnie says walk-off, or the walk-off for the Dodgers in 78 was in Los Angeles to win the pennant. And so that series started in Philadelphia. Pitch to Johnson is a line drive to center. Harlow is there, one out. Here's Dent. Bucky's 0 for 2. McGregor from the line, and there's a ground ball base hit, and Dent will hold with a single. Only the third hit allowed by McGregor. So 27 batters deep, 7 and a third innings, 101 pitches, 3 hits. A rock and two strikeouts. Mickey is 0 for 3, but because it's a two run ball game, the Yankees have the tying run of the plate. McGregor deals. Line drive left field, all the way down the wall. Dent will round third, and Old Rivers is on second, and the Yankees have two on and one out. And Earl Weaver starts to rock back and forth. In that dugout. And now do you rock Randolph to face Munson? Mm. 
The Orioles will play him halfway. Randolph one for three. He has singled and struck out. McGregor and Dempsey exchange some change some signs around. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to Garcia. They'll take the sure out at first. Dent will score. It's two to one, and Rivers is on third. Earl's going for the Chesterfields. Take it, Navy Vet is not a big Dodger fan. And so Rivers moves to second. Or Rivers holds at second. So we'll need Munson to get a single to score. Rivers does have good speed. Clinton is a fan of the Brooklyn version of the Dodgers. Therm is over for 2 with a walk. 2-1 to one Baltimore here in the 8th. Pitch to Munson. Ball 4. And now Earl has got two Chesterfields in his mouth. He's got Jackson, who was 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And a hit by pitch. Jamie rooting for the Orioles. How did I lose a follower in this stream? Seriously? Pitch to Jackson. Base hit left center field. Rivers ties the game. Munchen goes to third. And it's two to two. Much like Darth Vader, they just keep coming back and coming back. And there we'll go out to talk to McGregor. McGregor says, I've got this. They can use Stanhouse. He hasn't pitched in a while. They also have Nellie Bryles and Joe Kerrigan. But right now, Stanhouse is getting loose. Martinez pitched Tuesday night. So he is fresh too. But Pinella better against the lefties and the righties. So runners on the corners and two out. McGregor deals. Up the middle. McGregor to Murray. And that will retire the side. But the Yankees get a big, big tying run. On a hit by Jackson, two runs, three hits, no errors. Bottom of the eighth. Two, two of the score. And so now, Gossage is the pitcher of record. Garcia has struck out twice. And now you'll look to see who can actually hit a righty. It is not Mark Belanger. Carlos Lopez will pinch hit. Carlos at 196. He gets righties at a 286 clip. Three homers and nine RBI. So Belanger will come in the game of the ninth. Lopez, base hit up the middle. If the question is hitting, Belanger is not the answer. <laughs> So Lopez with smart speed on first. And now I'll bring up Harlow, who is 0 for 3. We'll see. It'll be Nevels, Chambliss, and Johnson in the ninth for New York. Lopez on first. Pit throw to first. Lopez is back. Harlow. Line drive, foul, right side, and somebody from Anne Arundel will make that catch, and no, her name is not Anne. And I don't know who Arundel is. So the count is a ball and two strikes. Kelly on deck, Singleton to follow. Pitch. Scott him. A one-two curve, a late called strike three, and that's the first for the goose. And that brings up Kelly. Who was one for two? He is singled, walked, and scored. Earl rocking back and forth in the dugout. Bob Lemon, his face looks like his name. 
Arundel lives in the jungle. Okay. Pitch to Kelly. Got him! An old two on the outside half at 97, and Kelly wasn't looking for that. Two out. For Singleton, who is 0 for 3. He is grounded into a double play. So, big old tense moments here at the big ballpark in Baltimore. Pitch to Singleton. Struck him out! He got him on a 2-2. Two -two, and Gossage gets the side. No runs, one hit, no errors. We go to the ninth. 2-2. Two -two. So Belanger, who's a 10, at short, comes in. Nettles, Chambliss, and Johnson. And if you're wondering about what the Orioles have lined up for you, Murray to Sensei in May, McGregor. Well, both teams, two runs, five hits, no errors. Symmetry there. The Yankees have left six on, the Orioles four. Pitch to Nettles in the right field, but in the yard, Singleton's there, one out. Here's Chambliss, he's 0 for 3. Stanhouse is ready. To third, Desense across the way, two out. And they'll let McGregor pitch to Johnson. Cliff is 0 for 3. The Yankees got Roy White at least. Let's see what the computer does here. They leave Johnson in. Base hit right center field. Harlow throws it in. Roy White's going to pinch hit as Cliff Johnson has just hit a double. So Roy White will come in as a pinch runner. Earl Weaver brings in Don Stanhouse. To go righty versus righty. Two outs in the top of the ninth. We got a pitching change. This game coming to you from Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. So Stanhouse, despite his reputation, is 8-4 and four with 9 saves. And an ERA of 233. But, well this isn't a save situation. He's blown 7 of a 16. Against the Yankees? He hasn't faced the Yankees this year. Wow. So his last time out was 10 days ago against the, against the Oakland. An inning in the third. Two hits and three strikeouts. So in 46 and the third innings, he's allowed 48 hits. A homer, 16 runs, 12 earned. He's walked 27 and struck out 28. He's a fastball pitcher at 96 and a ground ball pitcher. I don't think Rusty has anything to do with it in this game, to be honest. But right now, Roy White's dancing off his second base. Bucky Dent needs to do something here. And he's going to be pinch hit for. So that brings up Gary Thomason. As the wheels inside the computer turn. Thomason at 237, five homers, and 16 RBI. But if you're looking at the box up in the left, that just brings up the batting average to 224. So the deck is still heavily favored in Stan House's favor. Two out, ball four. So the first base to open walk will bring up Rivers. Mickey is one for four. He has doubled and scored in the eighth. Earl's got a Chesterfield. Pitch to Rivers. Line drive. Hello makes the catch to retire the side. The Yankees leave two. No runs, one hit, and no errors. It's cardiac time, boys and girls. We go to the bottom of the ninth. 
two two. And so now Gossage, halfway through his expected pitch count to face Murray, whose two run homer gave Baltimore the lead in the first. To Cincinnati in May. Pitch to Murray. Base hit right center field. Murray's on with a single. And that's a six hit for Baltimore. Oh boy. Here's to Cincinnati. He has doubled. He is one for three. He has driven in seven game winners this year. It's a great saying. So Gossage on the 73 degree night in Baltimore isn't showing any sweat at all. It's like he put speed stick all over his body. Munson and got Munson goes out. Gossage tells him to get his butt back there. Pitch to the Sensei. Slow roller to Stanley. Randolph for one and that's it. No throw to first. So Mickey Stanley will bat ninth and he's a five at short. And so now it's Lee May, who is one for three, with a strikeout, by Menon for sure. If we go to the tenth, Randolph, Munson, and Jackson for the Yankees. Chambliss and Nettles guard the line. One out, winning run on. Two to the score. Pitch will throw to first to Sensei. Sensei's not going anywhere. Gossage, deep breath, deals, struck him out. He got him to chase a 95 mile an hour fastball, and there's two out for Dempsey. And Weaver knows he's got Skaggs and Ellie Hendricks. Does he have a bat for Gossage? And the answer is Rich Dower. So Dower. At 246, three homers and 35 RBI. So again, the wheels turn, but the deck is heavily stacked in favor of Gossage. Pitch to Dow, throw to first to Sensei back. Everybody up. Pitch from Gossage. In the left field, that'll stay in the yard, and we're going to see some extra baseball. No runs, one hit, no errors. We go to the 10th. Would you have it any other way? It's the Yankees 2, the Orioles 2. So Dave Skaggs will stay out and will catch. He's a 4 and a 7, and he would bat 7th. Yep, they're leaving it all out on the field. So Stanhouse, who can go for a while, he only faced the one batter, or two batters, will face Randolph, Munson, and Jackson here in the 10th. Willie singled, struck out, and drove in a run. Ball four. So the go-ahead run is on for Munson. Who has walked twice and is over two. Throw to first. Randolph. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's close. So Randolph takes a big lead. They pitch out. There goes Willie to throw down to Smith. Not in time. So the go ahead run is now in scoring position. As Randolph strike or steals his 26th of the year. So Stanhouse now needs to worry about Munson. Ground ball to Belanger. Over to Murray. One out. Randolph will hold. Here's Reggie. He is one for three. He has struck out. Singled and drove in a run. Throw to second. Randolph is back. Oh, and he was also hit by a pitch. Pitch to Jackson. There goes Randolph. The throw to third. Got it. He stole it. And so the Yankees 
are doing it the old-fashioned way. They're manufacturing this run. And now they're going to play in. Don't really have much of a choice here. Jackson. One for three. Base hit right field. Randolph will score. It's three to two. And Stanhouse is on the hook. Smith, Belanger, and Harlow in the bottom of the tenth. But Reggie has stirred the drink twice. Here's Pinella. Two late inning ribbies for Reggie has made the difference. Yep, a clutch. Just clutch. This Yankee team is just really good. Pitch to Pinella. Got him! He swung on and missed a full count. So two out for Nettles, who is 0 for 4. Throw to first. Reggie, back. He runs. Throw down to short. Not in time. Reggie with his 11th steal on the year. They brought out a, a rocking chair for Earl. If this was a comic strip, there'd be enough asterisks and hash marks in the thought bubble there that would even make Calvin and Hobbes blush. Pitch to Nettles. In the right center. Back goes Harlow. Off the wall. Jackson scores. Nettles on with a double. And the Yankees, they're playing aggressive, and it certainly is paying off. It's 4-2. to two. I mean, let me tell you, there's not much that would make Calvin and Hobbs blush. Here's Chambliss. He's 0 for 4. Pitch. There's a ground ball to Smith. He'll flip it to Murray. Yankee fans are getting restless over there. They get two. On two hits. And the big hit by Reggie Jackson. No errors. We go to the bottom of the 10th. 4 to New York. The panties over. Sean, you devil, you. So Billy Smith is 0 for 2. He has walked and struck out. Nope, this is not what the Orioles wanted. But this is why they didn't win it in 78. They didn't have a bullpen you can trust. E.F. Hutton, they are not. Pitch to Smith. Struck him out. Even when you win, you whine, Coyote. Here's Belanger. It's kind of like, you know, he's hitting 215, no homers, and 24 RBI. Gossage deals. Belanger bunts. Foul. They were trying to steal one there. And the count goes to 0 and 2. Hard on deck. And then maybe the Orioles can kind of swing their way through. Landry squares. This time it's fair. Gossage throws to Randolph covering, and the Yankees are down are now one out away. So Gossage, three innings. Two hits, five strikeouts, and he is one out away from his seventh of the year, win of the year. Harlow is 0 for 4. If he should reach Pat Kelly, the pitch popped up center field. The Yankees, no, Rivers drops it, and Harlow goes into second on the air. Rivers had that one in his hands, and he looked away. And now the Orioles have the tying run up with two out. What an error. He tried to snatch catch, and that didn't work. 
And so there's life here in the Crab City left. Pat Kelly is one for three. He has walked. He has struck out. He has scored on it and singled. And so the drama continues here in Baltimore. The pitch from Gossage. Base hit left center field. Harlow will score the under and run. It's four to three. And in true Boston Red Sox fashion, the Yankees are trying to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. And now you got Kenny Singleton, who is 0 for 4. He has struck out and grounded into a double play. Two out, bottom of the 10th, 4-3 Yankees. Gossage throws to first, Kelly Beck. Bob Lemon starts rocking back and forth. They gave Earl the smelling salts two batters ago. Pitch to Singleton. Line drive. Jackson's there, and that's the ball game. Reggie Jackson had him played like perfect. And the Yankees have won the game 4-3, but more importantly, they have won the season series 8-7. And so if this does go to a 163rd game, it'll be at Yankee Stadium. They got home field. Goose Gossage, three and a third innings, three hits, an unearned run. Mickey Rivers made it pretty unsteady out there. Everybody check your ticker accordingly, and he struck out five to go seven and six. Tindro. Six and two-thirds, four hits, two runs, both earned. That was on the homer by Murray in the first. He walked two and struck out four. McGregor, eight and two-thirds innings, six hits, two runs, both earned. Had plus stuff. And Stanhouse showed where Baltimore is vulnerable. An inning in two-thirds, two hits, two runs, both earned. He walked two and struck out one. Reggie Jackson, two for four, two RBI or digital at ice. Player of the game. Why is it my left button working? Wow. So, the, oh, just a minute, Em. My cat has woken up. So let's play the rest of the day in baseball, and it's good news for, well, not really. Milwaukee and Cleveland played a doubleheader, and they split. Mike Paxton throws a three-hitter in game one, striking out five. Cleveland wins two to one. Paxton goes to 13 and seven. Don Money, two for four with two doubles. Mike Caldwell takes a loss. He goes to 15 and nine. In game two, the Brewers get the split. They beat Cleveland seven to three. Jerry Travers gets the win, four and 13. The scared cat now shows up on camera. Rick Waits takes a loss. He's nine and 14. Gorman Thomas with two homers. He drove, drives in four. Elsewhere, Detroit, eight. Minnesota, six. Kevin Young goes to four and three. Jeff Son, 11 and 12. Aurelio Rodriguez with his eighth of the year drives in three. Cincinnati, five. St. Louis, four and 11. So the Dodger lead is now two. Tomlin goes to four and five. Mark Littell, five and 11. George Foster, two for four the 29th of the year. And Montreal continues. This time they help the Dodgers. They beat San Diego, Seven to two. Fryman goes to seven and three. Rasmussen takes the loss. Gary Carter is nineteenth of the year. Oh goodness! So what do we got tomorrow for you? Well, you're gonna get. What we're gonna do is do this. We showed you that the lead now is two. The Dodgers just haven't taken advantage of what they have. So it's Texas and Milwaukee tomorrow, and it'll be Texas and Milwaukee on Tuesday. Because right now, that's the most meaningful games that we have. Milwaukee is a game behind the Yankees. 
and Texas is a half game in front of Kansas City. But as we show you the standing, I mean, look, the Texas and Milwaukee are the only two teams with winning records playing against each other. So here's the standings as we say goodbye for a Thursday. Join us tonight, hopefully, for the hockey unboxing at 7 Eastern. Philadelphia by two over Pittsburgh. Los Angeles by two over Cincinnati. The Yankees by half a game over Baltimore. And a full game over Milwaukee. And if you keep it up, you won't see a Dodger game in the playoffs. Texas by half a game over Kansas City and three and a half over Minnesota. So that so it's Texas Milwaukee tomorrow. We'll change this to Texas Milwaukee for um Tuesday and Wednesday. What did I have here? I didn't have any game picked. You're lucky. We'll do that as, as a single header. So Wednesday we'll do the Dodgers and the Mets. Because again, it it's just there. So you get your game, but you're only going to get one game. I'm not going to make anyone sit through two hours of Mets baseball. So that's what we got for you. Two days at Texas and Milwaukee, followed by the Dodgers and the Mets. It's all about the race this time of the year, and we've actually been quite... I don't check the starters on purpose, um, and we usually get pretty lucky. Put that in, though, for next year. So there you have it. Hopefully it's hockey tonight, and we'll see you then. I'm Ron Suckett. Be safe. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.